Okay guys, hello. I literally need to head out the door in like right now But I needed to come start this video because it's gonna be the start of another weekly reading challenge Except this time it's gonna be like a TBR theme reading challenge Which is very exciting and I wanted to do this video for such a long time But finally it's feeling like fall like the leaves are crunchy and I really needed that So we are going to be reading dark academia books all week. I love dark academia books and I read them exclusively during this time of the year um, and it's especially perfect because I'm a grad student right now and I literally spend all my time at school and the school that I go to gives dark academia vibe because it's like a big university with old buildings and even though what I'm studying has literally nothing to do with history, literature, or anything dark academia, I still want to be delusional and pretend that I am like an archivist. I'm also not dressed for the part. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll try doing better at dressing Arc Academia, but today I just couldn't be bothered. I will give you guys an OOTD though because I love an OOTD. These jeans are from H&M. Top, I think it's from Walmart actually. This hoodie, my old dance captain gave it to me for free. And this jacket, I thrifted, but my name is not Tristan. But it reminds me of Dean from Wizards of Waverly really Place. I need to head out the door, bro. I mask got a bunch of like Dark Academia books. I just need to decide what I want to read first. I'm excited. I've seen this book going around everywhere and I've kind of been hearing mixed reviews i kind of want to see what i think of it which is a study in drowning by ava reed i literally have no idea what this book is about i've just heard it being compared to divine rivals and then dissenting voices saying that it's nothing like divine rivals i liked divine rivals except i think it was more romance focused than i wanted and i heard that this book is like a little bit less romance focused so maybe i'll like it anyway time to go to school maybe i'll take you guys with me i don't know that's a bit scary <laughs> now i'm here to update you that i literally haven't started the book i said i was gonna read instead i downloaded another book in the middle of class so i was getting bored and i started reading on my laptop which is zodiac academy which is like more fantasy but it's still like a dark academia setting also i'm in this classroom and look what i put on the tv spoopy vibes i'm just gonna keep reading okay hey everyone i know i look a mess but it's 10 30 p.m um, and i just got back home and i cannot wait to just sit on my bed and read my book. I said that I would start a study in drowning. That literally did not happen at all. But I don't know if I want to start it right now because Loki, like, why is Zodiac Academy hitting so good? I don't know. It's one of those books where I'm like, I feel like it's like not like a good, good book, but like I have to just know what happens. <laughs> I have to know what happens. And I spoiled myself about the couple in it too. Like I was reading it during class. There was like a guest lecture happening and the prof for that class I realized was like sitting a couple rows behind me I'm like, can she see what I'm doing on my laptop? Because I was fully on Pinterest like looking up all of like the characters and the aesthetic You know what? I heard about Zodiac Academy like since last year Maybe even before that, two years ago Um, Because one of my friends like was obsessed with it She told me to read it Um, And I was like, mm, like I don't know, like I'm in the totally in the vibe But oh my god Now that I'm in like a dark academia theme I'm like, now's the perfect time to read it It's literally like a mix of like dark academia and like magic But like the fairy kind of magic but not just like fairy magic it's like it literally reminds me of like wings club which is so funny because this is literally the third time that wings club has come up today on three different occasions <laughs> but one thing about me is that i love wings club so much like it was my entire childhood and it is still very very formative to my personality being at like a fey school with like powers and things like that like so fun but make it like a bully romance and normally i don't like bully romance but why is this like so entertaining to me i just like have to know what happens like i don't even care about the characters and i don't even like any of like the love like the love interest like i don't really even like any of the boys in it because they're all just like mean and i get the ick every single time that one man calls himself an alpha morbid curiosity i just have to know what happens so maybe i'll do that and i'll start studying drowning tomorrow Better give me a round of applause for dressing a little bit more dark academia than I normally would. Cute, right? Okay, I mean, I know that it's still just like neutrals and it's very... It's just very normal. Maybe it's not that dark. Guys, I almost finished Zodiac Academy last night. I think I'm in like the last, like the last 75%. And I think that I'm going to finish it today because we have a lot of presentations to watch today, which means that I'm going to not be paying attention to the presentation. I'm going to read my book. Also, I'm boiling water because I'm running late like every single day, except we actually start early today. I was reading Zodiac Academy more this morning. It's actually so wild and like problematic, but I have to finish it. 
you know? Coffee and she was so good. I took a sip of it, and you know, when you take your first sip of coffee and you're like, mm, it's good, left it on the counter. No! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm currently watching a parked car getting ticketed outside of my building. That's rough, bro. Okay, lighting's terrible. Um, but it's currently 6 p.m. I just finished school and work. Um, I actually have a volleyball game at 8 that I have to go to, but I wanted to give an update because lots of things happened. First of all, I tried to film some of it, but I couldn't really. But I finished the first Zodiac Academy book, and then I got two other books in the series so that I could start reading that too. I think the first Zodiac Academy book, The Awakening is I think what it's called. I actually would probably rate that like a two stars. Cause like I said, I got the, oh God, it was so bad. I got the ick every single time. One of these disgusting men kept calling themselves like the elf. Like the way that this world works, it's not really like vampire. I don't even know how to explain it. It's not really like vampires, but like there are like vampiric like things. Like some people are like that. It just gave me the ick so badly because of all like, one thing about me and books and stuff is that I hate like possessive men which is why I also don't like mates in like books and stuff because it's like so possessive to me and it gives me the ick so badly but basically like there are some characters disgusting men in this book who have to like suck the blood of like other people in order to like regain power you know what I mean and it's so gross because it's like not consensual it was so gross and I hated it. I hated it. Basically in this world, we have like the two sisters, the Vega sisters, which first of all, I think it's funny because one of the girls is named Tori and their last name is Vega. Here I am. And we're basically following them. Turns out that they're like the long lost like heirs and they're very, very powerful. There's like elemental magic. Most people only have one. If you're super powerful, you have two or three, but both of them have all four, which pisses off the four, like, I don't know how to explain it. The four like most powerful slash popular guys at the school. They were supposed to be like the heirs. Um, and so they're like mad for no reason, right? If you guys like The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, like that level of enemies to lovers bullying where it's like so toxic, problematic, cause attempted murders. I dare say that this I think is actually more problematic than The Cruel Prince because they're just like, Assault, like, seriously, just assault that happens. Non-consensual assault violation. And I hated reading it, but it was so problematic. However, the reason that I'm continuing with the series is because I've heard the first book is terrible. You need to give the rest of the books a shot because of the romances in it. And you guys know that I'm a hoe for love stories. That's like the reason I'll read books. I have just heard that each of the twins have like their own like romance. So most people will become obsessed with one of their romances and then that'll be like the entire reason they read the rest of the series. If you like one of them, you'll probably like dislike the other one because they're really, really different. And I can already tell which couple I am here for. And it's like, I was not expecting it at all. Like I said, I spoiled myself a little bit for like what is happening in the series. And when I saw, when I was spoiled by one of the couples, I was like, there's no way. The character dynamic that I personally will never be able to like really get behind. However, in this book series, I'm like, I have to know. Because it's very like, I hate everybody in the world but you. Like, I'm closed off to everybody in the world but you. I am only soft for you type vibe. I feel like at the end of that book, I was kind of getting like a soft vibe. And I was like, wait a second. Because suddenly I'm like, is this going to be the best romance of all time? Actually, I don't have any class tomorrow. So I'm wondering if I should... I like haven't touched my Kindle like all week because I've just been reading Zodiac Academy on my laptop. I will probably switch between reading that on my laptop or phone and then actually starting another book on my kindle i'm so sorry the lighting so i think that i will actually at least start a study in drowning that I literally haven't been vlogging or like talking vlogging because every time I bring you guys to school, I get too scared and I end up not talking, but just filming everything. Anyway, it's already Friday, which is the last day of classes for this week. I actually should be in class right now, but I accidentally slept in. 
So I'm just going for my afternoon class. I'm eating breakfast. I don't know what happened. I literally normally wake up at 7 to go to school. I woke up today at 10.15. Class started at 10. I needed to talk because I'm actually 70. When did that happen? 70% of the way through a study in drowning now. You know, I was fully prepared to like not love it or like be slightly disappointed. I'm actually really liking this book like a lot. It definitely has the dark academia vibes of like literature, architecture, something sus happening like in the background that they're like trying to figure out. Um, But I was confused at the beginning because of like I didn't understand what the messaging of this book was because there's like a lot of like themes happening you have our main character her name's effie as in may the odds be ever in your and she's an architecture student but like she wants to be a literature student but women aren't allowed so there's like that one thread of like this feminism type of thread it's really giving like white feminism though because like basically there's also like another group of people here who are like oppressed they're like pretty much not allowed in schools like at all and our male main character preston he is like part of that group of people she has like this prejudice <laughs> being mad about the fact that her as a woman like she's not allowed to be a literature student so it's very giving like white feminism and i was confused reading this because i was like is this what the point of this book is are we supposed to be reading with this character because like me being at an intersection oh like girly like there are intersections that you don't understand girl like there is another thread in this book where she is like getting this book is kind of a lot of things happening but i do like it her being taken advantage of by like older men in academia which is also terrible to read and then there's like this whole mystery of her basically being chosen to like go like design this architecture house for her favorite author of all time who recently passed away and so she gets chosen and that's where she meets preston who's like a literature student and he's there trying to write his thesis about this author doing a little investigation of his own where's my tea obviously my favorite part about this book is the romance between Effie and Preston like I feel like I heard disappointing reviews about that like the romance part because people wanted it to be like more but I was like okay I think that I'll like it because I like when the romance isn't like that much and I really like it like I honestly like get butterflies watching them together and like I think the author has done a really good job of like I don't know like showing their physical chemistry without being like so in your face about it like I hate when authors are so in your face it's like occupying the same space together but like you notice them noticing each other you know that's the kind of stuff that I like I just love Preston. He like is like so chivalrous and like he wears glasses. I have a thing for glasses. He is just like very very charming and I really like them together. I, I definitely want to finish this book. I'm at 70% and I should be doing work. I literally have like three tests next week. Also, it's raining today though, which is like the best. Anyway, it's 11 now. I'm gonna go to school for 12 because I'm late. Maybe I'll vlog and take you guys with me then. Don't guarantee that though. almost 8 p.m. but I'm back home. I thought I was going to be able to read a lot today but I'm going to try to finish this book right now. I'm at 73%. I'm literally going to finish it if it's the last thing I do. It's 11 p.m. and I just finished A Study in Drowning. I would actually rate it pretty high though just because I really liked the romance. Like it's been a while since I actually like liked Fictional Man. Like recently every fictional man has been like pissing me off. I mean the bar is in hell but Hugh's like I actually liked him I think because he wears glasses and he's like quiet confident nerd type. He was super chivalrous very nice to her. I thought this book was YA but it's not. It's like new adult. The vibe was it's very like not really like dark academia like, dusty old books no not that kind of dark academia it's like again dark academia with a little bit of magic in it there's like, a little bit of like folklore fairy tale -y, fairy type of vibe mixed with it which i wasn't expecting i feel like people were like being disappointed by this book for like romance reasons or like other reasons i was disliking this book due to social implication reasons <laughs> i just feel like for me at least like the messaging of it was very like this book picked the wrong reader to read it maybe i was like not the target not the target demographic for this interesting i've never seen that intersection before of dark academia and first wave white feminism you can do with that information what you will i feel like technically this is the end of this video i mean i only read two books like during this week because i'm in grad school but i low-key feel like i low-key feel like if i really wanted to i could read like the next zodiac academy book i mean it's 11 but i don't have school tomorrow